Hello, in this video I want to show you how to use the autosave in Brainweaver. So this is, um, I start up a student module and um, let's say I was working on this demo. We can already see there's an autosave here, uh, two files actually, but normally you would store demo on your, um, how we call it, on your desktop or your document folders. But let's say I want to, I, I just take the normal file, I'm going to continue my construction of my concept map and what I'm now going to do I'm going to ruthlessly kill this application so I use Linux which means I can do kill all brain weaver student to kill it ruthlessly all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load the saved version of brain weaver where I was at before it ruthlessly um, terminated so I open up the student module again and now I do click that autosave file. So this autosave file will be in the same folder as Brainweaver is, like the executable. And if you just open up that one, you can directly go back to your concept map. So this autosave, it activates uh, once per 10 seconds, so you lose uh, 10 seconds at most. But perhaps you've already noticed that if I go, let's say I run it again, that there are two autosaves actually. So this is because of an increased safety. So by default you should always pick autosave 1. But it may happen that during the crash, um, that during the autosave Brainweaver crashed. So that is, it's, it hasn't crashed now or up until ever. But let's say autosave 1 is corrupted then you can use autosave 2, uh, which, uh, which is, it will always be valid. Um, so if I open up that one, then I at most have lost 20 seconds of work. Alright, so that's how the autosave works. So in, if in the case that it crashes, uh, you've only lose, you only lose 20, min 20 seconds of work at most. Alright, enjoy Brainweaver.